Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Combat Craig, and today we're talking about VA claims for tinnitus. I've been getting a few messages recently that tinnitus claims are getting denied, and people want to know why. Here's the deal with tinnitus. It's a subjective claim. Subjective means it's in your head. If you think about it, you can't even pinpoint, you know, where your tinnitus starts, where the ringing comes from. I've had it forever. You know, you learn how to tune it out. You just live with it. It also causes mental health problems. I mean, basically it drives you crazy. So how could another human being, I don't care what their qualifications are, get in your head and give a medical opinion about what your tinnitus is or isn't doing? It's impossible. So the VA is going to send you to an audiologist and they're going to send you into the sound booth. They're going to do a hearing loss test and they're going to do what they say is a tinnitus test, even though they're not testing anything. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I can hear it. Who cares? Like you're, there's no wrong answers because their beeps have nothing to do with your tinnitus. Here's how tinnitus claims get denied almost all the time. It has to do with the in-service event. Of course, you don't have it in your records. You didn't know what it was when you're 18. You didn't know what it was when you're 33. You may barely know what it is now. Here's how you win your tinnitus claim. It's in your personal statement. Your 21-4138. I've had tinnitus all the time. It's got to be continuous. It doesn't come and go because it doesn't come and go. You always have it. You may tune it out and you may think you, you know, kind of have it squashed, but you always have it. You always deal with it. That's the first thing you need to say. Second thing you need to say is where it started. So it has to be a spot on active duty. Doesn't have to be an exact date. I was on the flight line in Panama, sitting there behind C-130s. I was a cop. We didn't get hearing protection. Then I got stationed at Insulik Air Base in Turkey during Desert Storm, and then it was F-15s and F-16s. The ringing started in Panama, it was continuous, and then it seemed to get worse when I got stationed in Turkey. So by doing this, you're explaining that, you know, it is an in-service event, and you're saying approximately when it happened, and that's pretty much the extent of it. The nexus is built in that way. You're doing the nexus, you're reporting your symptoms, and since nobody can really diagnose you with it, you're doing that too. This is one of those weird claims where you can kind of self-diagnose. They're still going to send you to a CNP exam, and most of the time they deny you. You fight back. There's this thing called an MOS list where, you know, I'm on it as a highly probable list. That may or may not be a factor. Their initial reaction is to push back on it. They're trying to change the law about tinnitus and make it part of hearing loss, but that hasn't happened yet. So get your tinnitus claim in and you can win it with your personal statement. That's where I made my mistake. I didn't know that I had to say I've always had it. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you about my boot camp. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. You could talk to me live. There's a link on the website. And in the description, combatcraig.com. And also, if you need medical evidence, like a nexus or documenting your symptoms properly, go to our website, combatcraig.com, and it says med team slash nexus letters. Click on that link, fill out the form, boom, you're done.